conversations, not in a creepy way, but just by chance if I'm walking down the street and I hear people talking, I find that very interesting. But I also just love talking to people, just letting people sort of talk about themselves or their lives or their ideas and listening to the way that they express themselves. The book begins with these two characters meeting in this bar in a small town in the west of Ireland. They've met already on Tinder, on the internet, and uh, they arranged to meet in real life. A woman sat in a hotel bar, watching the door. Her appearance was neat and tidy. White blouse, fair hair tucked behind her ears. She glanced at the screen of her phone, on which was displayed a messaging interface, and then looked back at the door again. It was late March, the bar was quiet, and outside the window to her right, the sun was beginning to set over the Atlantic. It was four minutes past seven, and then five, six minutes past. Briefly, and with no perceptible interest, she examined her fingernails. At eight minutes past seven, a man entered through the door. He was slight and dark haired, with a narrow face. He looked around, scanning the faces of the other patrons, and then took out his phone and checked the screen. The woman at the window noticed him, but beyond watching him made no additional effort to catch his attention. They appeared to be about the same age, in their late twenties or early thirties. She let him stand there until he saw her and came over. It's kind of a scene in which nothing happens. It's kind of a book in which nothing happens. But to me, um, those little moments of nothing or not quite something um, can be very important and um, can even be, you know, the most important moments in life. 